Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here, how are you all getting on? So today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial video on how to magnetize the ironclad dreadnought from the Petrella Cal box set. Uh, it's a pretty quick tutorial, it's a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Um, but once you kind of break down what you need to do and get your tools set up and everything, there's not a whole lot to it. Uh, so basically I'm just going to be showing you how to magnetize both arms. Um, the right arm doesn't really need to be magnetized. But it's just for you know the convenience of painting, so you can paint it by itself. You know, doesn't have to you don't have to paint around the body or anything. Um, but the uh, the right arm is obviously the one you really want to magnetize because you get the assault cannon and you get the other option weapon, which is like a melter or a plasma, which I'm not too sure yet. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, and let's see how I did it. Okay, so the tools you're gonna need to magnetize. Is first off, you're gonna need some super glue. Uh, you're gonna need uh, a small drill, but this is optional, and but it just makes it a lot easier to use. Uh, you just need a, a like a very small, this very small drill bit, and this is the Games Workshop one that you can get. That's probably the best option you have or the best size. Just something to kind of push the magnet in. Like it doesn't have to be wooden or metal, but like this part here is pretty weak, so the magnet doesn't stick to it too much. Um, maybe just another piece to hold the magnet as well, that's what I just use. Um, obviously you're going to need your magnets for whatever size you're using. I got lucky, I just had a small amount of these left over, these are 5mm um, and they fit the dreadnought perfect. And then you're going to need a drill bit the exact size of whatever magnet you're using, if you can get it. 5mm um, is kind of like a pretty standard size. Okay. So with your small uh, drill piece, you want to start on the body part, so you want to kind of get a whole piece close to the center as you can. There you go. <coughs> and that will start serve as kind of like a marking point for your bigger piece. And um, this takes, like I don't have a drill or anything. I have a drill piece without any drills. But, uh, once you kind of drill right down through it, you'll have a hole in 5 millimeters. and um, just give it a bit of pushing, a little bit of twisting and you should get it then. Okay, so once you kind of get a nice clean hole, after all that, uh, you just want to dry fit your magnets, if I can find where I left them, and there they are. You kind of just want to dry fit them to make sure it'll fit in snugly, yeah, I'll go in there no water. Um, the kind of the polarity of them now doesn't really matter. It's the next one that goes onto the arm that matters a whole lot. So it's gonna put a bit of super glue just around the inside of the rim. And then stick one of these in then. So it should just fit like that nicely and then with put your other little stick then that's not metal just give it a little shove in you don't want to shove too hard because the inside of this is hollow so you don't want to lose the magnet and I said that's far enough see how it fits in there nice and snuggly nice and smooth so uh, yeah so that's it for the body then you want your one to go and start working on then is one of the arms um, so I'm going to do the assault cannon for this one and it's the exact same way um, it's a lot easier with this one because I don't think I think with the kind of the bubble sticking out the way kind of like the round part sticking out instead of going inwards it's a lot easier to make the hole So now that you have the hole in this one, you might just this one you have you have to do a bit more cleaning up on. You see like the rough edges sticking out and everything. So you kind of just want to trim them with your knife, and then go over them with a you know just sand it down a little bit with a bit of sandpaper. So then once you got it cleaned up and smoothed down a little bit, you just want to kind of dry fit the model or the the model the magnet into it, and it'll just about fit in there with a bit of pushing. Um, 
So I'm going to magnetize, or I'm going to glue the inside the rims again. Um, and this is where you're going to want to check that the polarity is right. So what I mean by that is that's the opposite side that's not going to stick to there. You know if I turn the magnet over it will stick. So that's the side you're going to be wanting to go in here. If that makes sense. But basically you just want to be getting the right sides of it. Do it a little bit easier. Going in with that. There you go. Now I got two magnets stuck in that by accident, but um, so that's why you want to go a little bit easier when you're trying to fit them in there. But uh, it's fine. It's in nice and snug. Now what I might do is just put a little bit of super glue over that just to make sure it stays a little bit. So I'm not sure if I got a hole lot on the on the inside of the rim there. So give them a couple of what, about 20 minutes, half an hour to dry I suppose would be enough. And then uh, we'll see if I did the polarity right. Okay guys, so it's been a little while so hopefully the glue and all is set. So let's check out the arms. Now this side was already done a couple of days ago so I know that one fits pretty well. So I'm gonna try the assault cannon first. Yeah, fits pretty well. Don't think I could have got to fit it a bit. <laughs> I don't think I could have got it to fit any better. Uh, the magnets go nice and snug. Not a problem there. You can get your pauses and everything. Went in nice. The plasma gun or the melt gun, whatever it is, went in pretty well as, as well as the last one. So, other than that, I think I did a, a decent job. No mistakes. And yeah. So, the only kind of bit of tips I'll give you is. Like when you're doing this, apart from like how to do it, you want to just be careful with the super glue. If you can see the little shiny patch there, now so I know it's only a tiny bit, but I caught it pretty quick. That's the super glue. It ran down through my fingers, and my finger got stuck to the plastic there. So you're going to just want to make sure to be extra careful with super glue, because I'm not used. I'm not used to using it. Uh, I just use the plastic glue, and super glue fucking sticks everything. Sticks your fingers. Sticks to the plastic and it can leave little marks like that so uh, just be you know just a little bit extra careful when using the super glue and um, another tip would be as for magnet size uh, for this if I didn't say it before it was five, yeah I did say it but just to make sure it was five millimeter I used and um, I was I thought that would have been too big but I asked around I asked on Eric Bear's Google Plus page uh, he recommended five millimeter I thought it was too big ended up fitting perfect so uh, you know ask around just to make sure you get the right magnet size and everything and then just make sure you get the drill bit the same size that's the that's a five millimeter drill bit and uh, amid the holes pretty perfect so uh, yeah so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial hopefully it helped you guys out a bit showed you how to magnetize uh, the dreadnought from the betrayal of calc box set but this will work just as well as any other dreadnought i think the I think for the other normal specimen dreadnoughts, it might be a bit flat there instead of kind of the round parts. I'm not too sure, but um, it's basically it's basically the same thing. I'm pretty sure, anyway. So uh, yeah, so hopefully it helped out. Hopefully you enjoyed this. You might have learned something. <laughs> so um, yeah, make sure to leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this, and uh, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.